Today we're going to talk about how to factor polynomials using the sum or the difference of cubes. So I've listed some perfect cubes here, so you remember what they are. So 2 cubed is 8, 3 cubed 27, and so on. And here are our two formulas. So if I have something in the form a cubed plus b cubed, it's going to factor as a plus b times the quantity a squared minus ab plus b squared. And if I have something in the form of a cubed minus b cubed, it's going to factor as a minus b times the quantity a squared plus ab plus b squared. So how does this work? Suppose I want to factor this. I have 8x cubed plus 64. And I notice that this is a perfect cube, and this is a perfect cube. So I can use this formula. So let me find my a and b. In this example, a cubed is equal to 8x cubed. So to get a, I need to take the cubed root of this. So the cubed root of 8 is 2, and the cubed root of x is x. So my a equals 2x. My b squared in this example is equal to 6. My b cubed is equal to 64. And the cubed root of 64 is 4. So now that I have my a and my b, I can just plug them into this formula. And I'm going to get 2x plus 4 times a squared in this case is going to be 2x squared. So that's going to be 4x squared. Minus 2x times 4 is 8x plus b squared is 16. Okay, let's try an example with the difference of cubes. So here we have x cubed minus 216y cubed. These are both perfect cubes. And to find a, I'm going to take the cubed root of x cubed. It'll give me x. And to find b, I'm going to take the cubed root of 216y cubed. That's going to give me 6y. And then I'm going to substitute these values into my formula for a and b. So a minus b is going to be x minus 6y. a squared is going to be x squared. ab is going to be 6xy. And b squared is going to be 36y squared. And that's how you use the sum and difference of cubes to factor perfect cube polynomials.